One of the more interesting experiences that I've had to work on recently has been uh, sounds for a household product. And in that case, they're part of your life, so they have to be integrated into your life. You develop a relationship to them. Some sounds can be clean and crisp and efficient. And that tells you something about the product. It tells you something about the way it was built, the way it was designed, what the intentions were. Some sounds can be more personality and have more color to them. And that might start to give it more of a, a human persona or anthropomorphize the machine a little bit. Cooper Hewitt asked Man Made Music to create some sound for an interactive sound design experience. The sounds are for Trashbot, who is a fictional street cleaning machine. You know, Trashbot has a soul, if you will. From the design concepts that we saw to the story that they wanted to tell about how Trashbot goes through the city doing these little actions, it became clear that I was going to have to look at the sounds for Trashbot balancing that idea between personality and function. One of the terms that came about when we discussed Trashbot was the sonic burrito. And there's a lot of analogies from music and food, and I love making those analogies, because when I make a sound, I'm adding basic elements, and I can change those elements to get so many different varieties, so many different flavors. The idea of the sonic burrito is like, you pick a grain, you pick a, a protein, and then you pick some accompaniment to it. And how do those things work? Now, when I change one over here and I change one over there, how does that influence the taste, the flavor, the personality of that sound? Yeah, so that's it. That's how we, that's how we went about making sounds for Trashbot.